Yes! 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 People! 1,000 subscribers! 1,000 subs! 1,000 subscribers! Really? 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 Man! What's up everyone? It's your boy Infrared. Welcome to the Scott Report 1,000 subscriber thank you edition. I say this each and every time I do one of these thank you videos that is going to just be off the fly. This is a plan. This is just me sitting down talking to you guys, rapping to you guys. I really wanted to do something special for this 1,000 subs, but I couldn't think of what to do. But I figured the least I can do, even if I do it later, is to sit down and thank each and every one of you guys for getting the Scott Report to where it is right now. I mean, thank you. This clap is for you guys. This clap is for you because without you guys, I wouldn't be here. And I say this also almost every video like this that I make that I've exceeded my expectations. I mean, I've knocked my expectations out the park when I started this channel in late February. So it's only been about nine months. I never would have dreamed that I would have a thousand subscribers by the end of the year. I mean, I really did think that I don't, I don't know what to think. I can't even explain it. I just didn't expect to be here so fast. At least it feels fast to me. Again, a thousand subscribers, it may not be that big, but for me, for somebody who just decided to get off of my chair, off my couch, off my gaming chair, whatever it is, and decide to do something that I always wanted to do, do something that I love, do something that I'm passionate about, just sit in front of the camera and tell you guys what I think about episodes. Show you guys how I get down when I'm watching episodes. And to have a thousand subscribers, it really is a dream come true. I mean, if you, I think I probably said this before. I'm pretty sure I have said this before. If you asked me when I started this channel, where would I be in November? I probably would have said two, three hundred, if that. But to have a thousand, man, that just, it just brings a smile to my face. It's, and I try to smile as much as I can, but it really does bring a smile to my face. And as always, I just want to thank you guys once again. Thank you guys very much. Thank you. Thank you for every like, for every comment, for every view, everything that you guys done. Thank you so much for making the Scott Report continue to grow. And I always come to you guys with a humble heart, but we're at 1K. I don't think 2K is impossible. I don't want to get ahead of myself. But that's the next goal, right? You get to one, you might as well strive for two. So heading into 2017, I hope we can make this journey together. So I guess for this video, what can I talk about? I guess I can tell you guys what's been going on with me. Um, but first and foremost, if you guys happen to watch my Dragon Ball Super live reaction yesterday, um, that video, the upvote and downvote has been kind of polarizing. And you probably saw your boy go in on that a little bit. And I don't want to bring negativity into this video but it's something that has to be said i mean i kind of i kind of blew my stack i kind of went in on that stream yesterday because i started doing a dragon ball live reaction you guys know i don't do audio i don't do video on my live reactions and i bust my ass to get a timer so people can watch and keep up and before i even started i think i was just doing like the intro you know how i let you guys get hyped for the episode let you know where i am and everything and i already had like two or three down votes and i'm like really Really, how do you have a down vote and the video hasn't even started yet, technically? And a lot of it goes towards just the Dragon Ball community is just a bunch of crusty fucks. And I know you can't classify everybody, but it's just a lot of crusty people in the Dragon Ball community. It was one of the reasons why I didn't want to cover Dragon Ball, but it's so hype that you have to do it. And... I say this all the time and I've always said it in a nice way and I got grim when I said it yesterday, I'll say it once again. I am not here to provide people with the video in my live reactions. Live reactions are for people to actually see me react to the episode, not to provide the episode for you. The only time that I will probably ever do that again is for Thunderbolt Fantasy because that's going to be very hard for others to see. But Dragon Ball, in this day and age, if you can't go online or even YouTube and find the video, I don't know what to say to you. You can't afford Crunchyroll, too bad. I don't know. It's only like, what, six bucks? It's pretty sad if you can't afford that. And if you stay in a country where you don't have Crunchyroll, that's probably the only thing I'm sorry for because you can't get it. But don't come on someone's page and hate. 
I don't apologize for it. I'm not sorry for what I did. Not sorry for what I said. I'm not sorry for it now. So I just wanted to get that out there. Back to the happy stuff. What have your boy been up to? You know, ever since the Ghost in the Shell video of the trailer came out, I kind of wanted to reimmerse myself back into that franchise. So I watched a movie that I've seen for like the 80th time. Because, you know, growing up when I did, being a 90s kid, there's three anime that you've probably seen at some point in your life in the beginning stages it was either akira ghost in the shell or ninja scroll because those three movies were splattered everywhere they're the holy trinity of 90s anime i mean this stuff used to be on mtv used to be on regular tv they were out in theaters so i went back i watched the original ghost in the shell movie and it is just as brilliant as it was well i won't say maybe the first time i saw it because at first you know it was in my early stages of anime and I was kind of looking like this is boring. But then as I matured and started watching more things besides like Dragon Ball, I was like, wow, this is a very masterful movie and it still holds up to me to this day. So I watched that. Then I'm going to go and dive in. I'm going to watch Standalone Complex. So that's a 50 episode trog. So I'm going to say that for last. I actually went back and watched The Rise because I want to watch the 2016 movie and that links directly to Arise. And I can tell you Arise isn't a bad series if you've never seen Ghost in the Shell. But if you've seen the standalone complex and then you watch arise you know go, standalone complex blows that shit out the water i'll tell you it is no standalone complex by any means but it's not a bad series it's very preachy though it's kind of like psychopaths where i would have to watch it dubbed in fact i almost gave up on it and said you know what i just want to watch it dubbed because there's too much dialogue going on for me right now but overall it was a pretty solid series i can't wait to see the movie even though i heard the movie was just okay but if all those feels, hey, we got standalone complex, and with the live action movie coming out, I feel a little bit better about it than I did at first when I first you know heard about it and the whole Scarlett Johansson thing. I'm actually okay with it because Makoto, Matoko, Matoko, not Makoto, <laughs> she has a um, robotic body, so it's easy to say she just jumped into another body in her ghost, but. I feel a lot better because they show a lot of things from the original. They got some things with standalone complex. It looks like it's going to be a mixed pot of everything from the Ghost in the Shell franchise. But then again, it is still American, so it could still get screwed up. I think the best anime movie adaption ever and probably ever will be will be the Roroni Kenshin series. If you haven't seen those for some reason, definitely go ahead and check those out. But yeah, I've been doing Ghost in the Shell. I've been watching all those. Um, I've been trying to catch up on Haikyuu for the past month. And I'm halfway on season two. But I kind of got sidetracked because I wanted to watch Legend of Galactic Heroes. And around Thanksgiving or November in general, I always go back and watch Gundam Wing for some reason. And it's been like that for quite some time. But I might change it up this year and watch another one. If you haven't heard, Gundam Thunderbolt is actually getting a season two. So that's hype. Um, I don't think I'm going to catch up to Haikyuu before season three is over. But um, I'm going to go ahead and watch season three once I'm done. Again, I'm only about halfway through season two. So... If I actually dedicate my time to it, it'll be easy to catch up. I went back and I was watching Rainbow Nisha. The um, title was too long for me to remember. I watched that again. Another fantastic series that people slept on. It kind of reminds me of the fall season in general because the fall season is a hippie season. It's an indie season. I mean, there's no better word to explain it. Everything that's on right now are things that are under people's radar. I mean, March comes in like a lion. You got All Out. You got Bungo Stray Dogs, which everybody should be watching, but it's still under the radar. Magical Girl Raisin Project is just picking up speed. You got Recross. You got a whole bunch of things that are not household names, but they're very good and solid seasons. Like even some of the things I'm not watching, like Flip Flappers and things like that, I've heard nothing but good things about. It's just. It's been a hard anime season subscription-wise because the things I'm covering, you know, not a lot of people are really watching it, which is a shame, but as always, I'm thankful for everybody who does watch my videos, drop a comment, leave a like, and what have you, but I can understand why things have kind of died down in the fall season because it's not really an attractive season for someone who doesn't look too broad their entire anime standpoint out so it's understandable but i'm enjoying this season a lot of people are saying this is the worst season since winter it's not really that bad well it might be because think about it because i was always watching gundam i think the only thing in winter that really brought it was erased and that was kind of polarizing and yeah it might be just as bad as winter but overall it's not a horrible season so let me know what you guys have been watching and the fall season what are you guys liking um how you guys feel about march comes in like a lion i feel that that is a very good series it's probably the best series of the fall right now i'm not covering it because it's a little bit too chill to cover 
but I enjoy watching it for myself. And of course, Gundam is always Gundam. Gundam is always breaking it. Um, what else has been up with your boy? Um, I can tell you guys what what's coming up in the future. I will be participating in the 12 days of anime in December. So I'm getting that ready, thinking of some things I'm gonna have for um, each day. I'm gonna try to do every day. And if I don't do every day, I'll do whatever videos I didn't get to in one video. But I'm gonna try to do the challenge to the fullest and watch things or things I need to watch again just to get a good retrospect and do a proper 12 days of anime great thing for the anime community myself and a whole bunch of other people in the YouTube anime community will be participating in this and it's not just anime it's gonna be manga anything otaku related that you feel was the best for the year so I'm really looking forward to that I'm really looking forward to doing that and having fun with that um holiday week is coming up so it might be some live reactions with myself and a couple of my friends from the Born to Be Different podcast network. Thinking of doing like some retrospect anime rev discussions or reviews. Like thinking about revisiting Kuroko no Basketball with um, Chucky J from my podcast and Perfect Geniuses that I also do as well. Link to that as always at the bottom of my video. Because Kuroko is my number three anime of all time. So I think it's time that we throw the camera on and we start talking about the things we loved about that series. Get hyped for extra game that even though it is coming out in like spring of 2017, we probably won't see it translated for probably this time next year. But I read the manga and I can tell you this. It's good. You're going to like it. If you like Kuroko, you're going to like extra game. I'm not going to spoil it and get into it. Oh, what else? Um, besides just immensely thanking you guys very much for everything that you've done for me for this channel and giving me the drive to keep doing this because you see it every now and then. Sometimes I've probably been more sick than I always have been. I don't know. It's just been the weather in California. It'll be 90 degrees one day or rain the next for some reason, which it doesn't rain too much here. It'll be cold. It'll be hot. People spreading germs all around and, you know, between sickness, a crazy work schedule the past few months. Um, some videos have been sporadic. Like, I know I still haven't done my Recross video or my Hajin review <laughs> that I definitely need to get out because if I don't get it out by Thursday, it's going to be another snowball of stuff. So I'll definitely try to get that out for the people that are interested in that. Just bear with me for a little bit. Also, Pokemon Sun and Moon has been completely consuming me. Oh, my God. <laughs> that will be another reason why things are a little bit behind. I can tell you that is easily the best Pokemon game that I've played in quite a long time. So enjoyable. So much to do on there. I have the Sun Edition because I want that Vulpix. And I think that Lion looks a lot better than the Bat thing that you get in the Moon. There's that. Um... Yeah, I mean, that's really all I can think of. Again, I just wanted to take the time out to thank you guys so much. So much. I mean, if I can just make this video just saying thank you, I would. But I felt that if I'm going to give a video, I needed to talk about something. So thank you guys once again, because I say it in each and every video that you guys can be anywhere on YouTube right now. But you chose to listen to me. And I really appreciate that. So thanks for stopping by. Road to 2K, let's get it. I think we can do it together. Take my hand, tag me in, we can do this. Let's continue to make this channel bigger and bigger. And I will strive to make this channel better and better. As you can see, you may notice little things like my video quality is getting better. My quality as a reviewer is getting better because I can tell you guys, I much rather do reviews than live reactions. But the thing is, they load so much on two days, like Friday and Saturdays, that the only way that I'll be able to get a video out for you guys is if I did a live reaction because by the time you edit a video, render it, get your thumbnails and all that, it could easily take a lot of time I don't have because my friends ask me this all the time. It's like, Scott, how do you do all this? You know, you work a full day, you got a family. How do you still pump out all this content all the time besides just having straight love for it? On top of doing other things because I also game, you know, I'm martial artist, all this type of stuff. And it really doesn't take much time as far as anime watching. You know, if you really want to, you can watch like three or four episodes in an hour. I always tell people that. But how I do it is just my drive. I mean, this is something that I love to do. It's a hobby. I absolutely love sitting in front of this camera, telling you guys how I feel about the episode, replying to your comments, being just overjoyed whenever I get a milestone like 1,000 subs, just knowing that you guys appreciate me as much as I appreciate you. And I will always be grateful for that. So thank you guys very much. Thanks to everybody in the anime YouTube community that's been supporting me for the friends that I've made in the YouTube anime community. You guys know who you are. 
I just look forward to this channel getting bigger. So I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here, guys. Um, I really do want to do something special for this 1,000 subscribers. I just don't have any ideas right now. If I don't, I apologize. But at the very least, again, I did want to make a video thanking you guys for everything. So on that note, it's your boy Infrared signing out. Road to 2K. See you soon.